We went up to the top of Goat Hill and then we wove through the woods and came down that sandy path. So we're in the sand area. This is usually where I find some snakes and turtles. And we came out later today. We usually go out early in the morning, but it was very cloudy and misty out. So now that it's warm and the sun is out, hopefully I'll find some frogs and toads, snakes, turtles. Where are you guys? Come on out. Nature's Fear is here. I want to see you. We still have another mile or so to walk. So far, we're not seeing any amphibians or reptiles. There has been a turtle here that laid its eggs, but unfortunately, all the eggs got dug up. Sure are a lot of eggshells here. There's a good sized snapper out in the wetlands. Oh my goodness, another one's coming up. Two snappers on the same lawn. And there is a small little painted turtle. And there is a third snapping turtle. This great blue heron kept getting mauled by the red-winged blackbirds. We're up on the Blackstone Canal and we just found a snapping turtle laying eggs. She's right on the edge of the canal, which is right over here. And this is a big walking path. I think she's safe right where she is. Oh, look at her face. I'm coming up here digging. She's covered in dirt. All right, sweetie, we're going to continue our walk. Be safe. Here is an old paper wasp nest that fell out of the tree. It's so amazing how they make these. That is cool. I don't know if you guys can see those tiny little fish, but unfortunately they're trapped here. Over the winter, there was a major change in the shape of the Blackstone River. It had come over there. You can see that other puddle. And then it came down here. And this is where the little fish are trapped. And then it's just dry. Unfortunately, I don't have a bucket or anything to catch them to help them out. Hopefully we'll get a big rainstorm so that they'll make it back into the main river. Wildlife has to deal with so much. Poor things. We are finding dug up turtle eggs everywhere. I just found a dead bumblebee. Poor little thing. I'm gonna just put them in by the flowers. These are the spotted tiger beetles. Well, they are doing their thing. I'm gonna make more tiger beetles. Such a beautiful color. These guys can be hard to get pictures of. There's usually, obviously, there's one on the path and they always take off super fast. Here is a beautiful lady slipper. They are in the orchid family. Oh, I love them. Here's some chicken of the woods that just doesn't look like it developed properly. It's really small. And something has been picking at it here, whether someone came down and picked it or an animal. But Chris had picked a piece and looked underneath it. It didn't look very healthy. Oh, well, we'll find another one. We love to eat these. And it's also very dry and crumbly usually crumble like this. Oh, this one's a little tougher. Oh well. Hopefully some animal enjoyed this. Oh, this guy is about ready to climb a rock. Look at that. As we're walking through the sand pits, these beautiful red clovers are showing up so beautifully. Here, oh, it's blowing in the wind. It's a dancing flower. This is a yarrow. They just started to bloom. They have the coolest leaves. They look like little ferns. Last year when I was doing one of my Wildflower 101 episodes, I was looking for a bird foot trefoil. And I remember I didn't see that many. And I can't believe how many there are here today. They're such a pretty flower. Look at them all. Here's another plant that I did last year. It's wild indigo. It's one of my favorites. It's not blooming yet, but it is a really nice green plant and it'll have pretty yellow flowers when it blooms. Oh, this is nice to see. The daisies are blooming. They're just a happy little flower. This is multi-flora rose. It smells wonderful. We're on another path and right before we took the corner, we're like, oh, it smells so good. Pretty sure these are cardinal feathers. I mean, the sun is making them look more orange, but when I put them in the shade, they were red. So probably a hawk caught the cardinal. The cardinal's my favorite bird, but I also understand the food chain and I love the hawks too. 
Rest in peace, Cardinal. This is arrowwood, sometimes called arrowwood viburnum. There's a whole bunch here. Very pretty. Look at that sky. It's gorgeous. There is a lot of this arrowwood viburnum here at Riverbend. And as we're walking through these trails, we were noticing this horrible odor. You know, it smelled like, I don't know, the only way I can explain it, it smelled like a decomposing animal. And then we finally sniffed this flower and found out that's what we are smelling. It does not smell like a beautiful, sweet flower. Now, I'm not sure if it deters insects, that odor, because we don't see any pollinators on these flowers. Mm -hmm. 